Why do negative comments on YouTube seem to stick in your mind more than the positive ones? Um, I've seen this from so many different content creators, we're called, I guess, here on YouTube. And I've seen this thing where they get these negative comments and it just irritates you. It's just like these people, these trolls, internet trolls, they, they just uh, thrive on the thing of finding ways to get under your skin, finding ways to just insult you and put you down and whatever else where you just think about it and it just ruins your whole day, some of these comments. And uh, you read some of these things and you just think, it's not logical, it's just an insult, it, it's not true, it's a lie, it's slander, it's, you know, where do they even come up with this? And you just feel like, man, if I could just see this person, I'd like to just smack them in the mouth. Where does that mentality come from? Let me read you some scripture. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6 and 7. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. Bam, bam. <laughs> verse 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. Um... One thing I have learned down through the years as a Christian is you always want to try to preach the gospel to every creature, the Great Commission. You know, you want to look for opportunities, doors to witness. Somebody, you know, desires to hear about the Lord and they want to talk about the Lord. They have questions about Jesus Christ. You're always looking for that. And you try your best to witness to people. But there are some people that you just can't get through to them. And it doesn't matter what you say. They just, it's contention. Every time you get around them, um, you know, family members or co-workers or old former friends or whatever. And it's just, they're always trying to fight with you. And you look at what they're doing and you're saying, you know, I'm trying to tell you about salvation. I'm trying to tell you how to clean your life up and, and how to have a better life. You know, oh, you and you're stupid. And they make fun of you. And you're thinking, you're a fool. You're such a fool. I'm trying to help you. Don't you understand? And, um, but you see, that's part of our job. Part of our job is to speak the truth. And um, the Bible, another place, talks about how the Lord's going to judge people out of their own mouth. And um, according to their speech, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And... That's another part of what we do. And don't forget that. Um, as a Christian, as long as you are telling the truth, you can't fail. Remember that. As long as you are standing for the Word of God and, um, you know, speaking it correctly in terms of you're not changing or making ex excuses for it or, well, I guess, you know, it, it shouldn't say that and I, I guess we don't really do it this way or, you know, just stand for the Word of God. Stand for God's book. You can't fail. It will always come back. God's Word does not return void. It, another verse talks about that. Uh, it will accomplish the thing that He sends it to do. And sometimes, brethren, in fact, most times, um, it will condemn people. And of course, you know, with the, the new thing with the Internet now, is you know you're not even dealing sometimes with real people you're dealing with artificial intelligence which is very bizarre and they come along just to write irritating little things and you go to their channel and this channel has no content uh -huh, yeah and you you know i block them and then they come back in again as some other channel and you know artificial intelligence bots and a lot of times i've called them out and i say you're an ai bot aren't you and they never reply but uh, there are genuine, real, flesh-and-blood trolls. And uh, they're fools. They're foolish. They see the hand that we hold out with help. And we say, here, I want to tell you about salvation. And they slap it aside. Don't you talk to me about your Jesus stuff. Don't you talk to me about your Bible and whatever. Okay. Your mouth is entering into contention. And I'd like to slap you across the face because you're so dumb. <laughs> Maybe I could try to knock some sense into you. Um, and that's why they never come up to me. I've had different people, you know, come up to me and talk to me and things. But um, they're very careful what they say to me. 
Uh, I've never had any of my enemies try to come and confront me or whatever else because of cowards. But uh, these people, ultimately, they're judging themselves. They're destroying themselves. And uh, if they never repent, then their damnation is just. And uh, it'll all work out in the end. Always remember that, brethren. Uh, nobody gets away with anything. Um, you might not see justice here in this earth, in this life. Uh, somebody might move away that was really wrong to you or whatever. And um, you might hear years later, oh, they, they passed away. Huh. Never had it, you know, never had things corrected between me and them. But uh, you'll see them at the Great White Throne Judgment. All you trolls out there that attack me and lie about me and everything. Um, I might not get the opportunity to smack you in the mouth. <laughs> try to knock some sense into you. But uh, my God will. My God's got it in for you. If you're a liar and a deceiver. You know, and I don't mean, you know, constructive criticism. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Sometimes I do say the things that are wrong. And, you know... It's perfectly fine to correct me in that. Not a problem. But uh, out and out, just slander and false things that people say about me, they'll answer. So I just wanted to make a quick little video. I was thinking about that verse the other day. I've been getting some really wacky comments. People saying things are just, what? <laughs> you know, about me. Uh, all sorts of lies and things. And I just kind of say, well... They'll answer for it. A fool's mouth uh, enters into, con into contention and calls for strokes. So, um, and be careful, brethren, that these people don't uh, draw you away uh, into endless debates. Um, be careful about that, too. Uh, remember the biblical admonition in, in the book of Titus. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject three strikes and you're out all right warn them twice reject them thrice okay um no, i don't mean three times reject them three times i'm just simply saying um warn two times answer with scripture third time the lord rebuke you you need to get saved uh save people um early on save people can make all sorts of mistakes i did at one point in time, when I first got saved, I thought that Jews and Catholics were saved. <laughs> I was really stupid. Uh, I had a lot to learn. Um, don't make that mistake anymore. But uh, early young Christians, they, they can be arrogant, they can be cocky, they can think that they know everything, and you have to correct them. Sometimes you have to correct them sharply, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. The Bible talks about that, too. Um, you should, sometimes somebody needs a good swift kick. A good swift slap in the mouth you know um i remember when i was a boy sometimes i'd talk back to my mother or say something really nasty or whatever and i'd get a little she didn't hit me hard or whatever just a little you know don't you say that to mommy again you know a foolish little child that needed my mouth was calling for strokes you know and sometimes you have to do that to an early christian a young christian and sometimes they have to be be rebuked fairly hard and uh, if they're genuinely born again they'll come around the holy spirit will show them these things but um <clears throat> two times answer them with scripture two times answer their questions with you know two times after that done don't keep it going because what they're trying to do is they're just trying to draw you into those endless arguments where they can waste your time and um so but that will be it. And thank you to everybody out there for answering people in the comments. I see that a lot. People put questions out there basically for me. I can't answer everybody. So for those of you out there that I see in the comments a lot, doing spiritual battle with people, um, that's great. And you will be rewarded for that someday. So thank you to my fellow soldiers out there in Christ Jesus. And uh, see you in the next video.